So guys, PJ here, hope you have a wonderful day. Welcome back to a new video. In this one, we're gonna take a look at how to find the next 100X gems, how to find the next 100X projects, crypto projects. So um, without waiting, let's jump right into it. This is uh, really important. If you've been invested in Shiba Inu, for example, or if you're invested in 5.6 from the blue chip coins, like Polkadot, Avalanche, Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, etc. You get 70, 60, 50, 80 percent, 90 percent of your portfolio there, and you're looking to play with 10 percent, 20, 30 percent to um, find more riskier projects, but maybe projects that can 50x, 100x, 200x from here, which uh, is what we all want to find with crypto. So, um, how actually can you find those projects? So, I'm going to make a series covering every little project. If it's possible that this project can be 100x. But um, in this one, I'm going to show you how you can actually take a look at and try to find for yourself those gems. So um, without waiting, let's jump right into it. So <coughs> you can see here, the first thing I like to do, and uh, this one will just be the topic of this video. I got some other techniques, but this is just for this video. I'm going to take cover one topic on how to find a gem, and it's to take a look at the ecosystems. So if you, for example, take a look at Polkadot, you can take a look at the Polkadot ecosystem. If you take a look at Solana, you can take a look at the Solana ecosystem. If you take a look at Fusion, you can take a look at the Fusion ecosystem. And that's where you'll find those hidden gems, projects that are from 5 to 50 million more cap. And uh, if you're looking at the 100x from 5 million, it's only 500 million more cap. And if you take a look at Polkadot, it's at 30 billion. So you can see that those projects can do a 50x, 100x when they really start to pump and when the whole f ecosystem start to pump, for example, the Fusion ecosystem, Polkadot or Solana, etc., etc. What I like to do is I like to take a look at two to three ecosystems and cho choose from those ecosystems two to three key projects. For example, each ecosystem has its own fan base. Each ecosystem has its own niche. You can go to um, the Solana ecosystem. You can go to um, the Avalanche ecosystem. Avalanche ecosystem, there are a lot of memes, a lot of great, great people. Daniel, really great people. You can go to the, um, to the Polkadot ecosystem. It's a little bit more serious, but there's also some great, great innovations, some great projects. You get um, some great, great opportunities. For example, RMRK, great, great gem, killed, great gem from there. But um, let's take a look at my favorite ones. So the first one that I really like is um, the Polkadot ecosystem. I'm a big, big fan. So how you do it? Take a look at the ecosystem. You go to Polkadot, you go to CoinMarketCap, you go here to Tax, and you're going to click on Polkadot ecosystem. And here you have all the coins from the Polkadot ecosystem. And you can take a look at Bar market cap. You, uh, the lower you go, the, the little, the, market, the, the smaller the market cap. So for example, here 49 million, 50 million, 50 million, 10x, 500 million, 100x, 5 billion. Polkadot is at 30 billion, so you can see that it's really, really not that much of a of a pump for those little projects to um to do a 50x, 30x, 60x, etc. So those ones, I'm a big fan of Paid Network. I'm a big fan of BLZ. I'm a big fan of Karura. I'm a big fan of Fana Network. M R M R K, big fan. I'm a big fan of the whole Fusion ecosystem of the whole Polkadot ecosystem. But you can find yourself some great, great gems here. Same thing with the Avalanche ecosystem, and then same thing with the Fusion ecosystem. In the Fusion ecosystem, I'm a big fan of Rice, I'm a big fan of Tesla Safe and of Passive. So um, that's what I like to do. Take a look at three ecosystems, take a look at three projects from those three ecosystems, and I put 20 to 30% of my capital in there to, to play, to have some fun. It's riskier, but you can also make a lot of great, great gains and bigger gains, as for example, if you're 100% into Polkadot or into Avalanche or into Solana. So um, that's what I like to do. And uh, if you're asking me which one I really like, I think it's really important that you take a look at it for yourself. From the Fusion ecosystem, I like Rice, Tesla Safe and, um, and Passive, but it's really important that for the projects that have 50, for example, 50 different projects in the ecosystem, that you take a look at them one by one and you take a look at the uh, at team, you take a look at the team docs, you take a look is there a working product behind it, you take a look at the charts or they're at all time high or is all time high far from, from current. So um, there are some key metrics to take a look at and uh, I'm gonna give you some right now. So there's team docs, take a look at the team is docs, take a look at that the uh, chart is not at all time high, take a look at the market cap is between five and 50 million and um, that they got a working product 
those four things are already really really great requirements to start with to find the next gem and um, that's what i like to do take a look at that and then uh, even better if you take a look where to actually to get those projects you go to coin market cap to market and they're us usually <coughs> on uniswap or on qcoin and that's where you'll find everything you need on how to get them so um, that's what i like to do with my portfolio and how i like to find the next 100x gems so hope this video is helpful in the next ones we're going to take a look at actually key projects and analyze them together and trying to see if this project can be a 100x gem so this is going to be a fun series hope you will enjoy it i'm also starting an nft channel on its own where we're going to cover only nfts and trying to find the next big nfts so it's going to be a fun 2022 hope you're ready thanks for everything what i said here is for entertainment purposes only no financial advice thanks for everything and i'll see you in the next one